Good afternoon and what is a warm, bright and sunny day. It is Monday the 3rd of April. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a parcel to unbox and this has come from, uh, it's going to come from drive through because I can tell from the packaging. So let's get this open. There we go. It's coming apart a bit easier than they normally do. Uh, and what I've got inside is this. It is Duck Pack, book one, uh, books, uh, book one, Myths, Legends and Lore, book two, Duck Adventurers. Uh, this is by Drew Baker and Neil Gibson, and it's available on the Johnstown Compendium. It's for the world of Glorantha and for uh, RuneQuest role-playing in Glorantha. So, uh, the antelope lances are gone, sir, and the Bell Temple cavalry is in tatters. It was a duck, sir, feathery little bastards hiding in the water and weeds, sleeping them, out, sleeping them out's bellies as they rode past. I thought General Fazir had done away with them all, but it looked like Starbro managed to get some of the cowardly freaks to fight. The Charan Hero Coventry will finish the job through, though, sir, and the island will be ours. Duck Pack is a series of four publications by Legion Games focusing on one of Dragon Pass's most iconic races, the Ducks. And the thing is with the Ducks um, is you kind of think, how would the Duck? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, and you kind of go, Ducks? Role-playing Ducks, really? And Grand Theron and Quest always had the thing, that's like that silly game with Ducks. And um, this is a book designed to dispel that myth. So... Um, Book one, Myths, Legends and Lore, uh, serves as an introduction to the Drools, the tribe of ducks um, of um, Duck Vale in the southwest corner of the Kingdom of Sata and provides a view of the tribe and race, including the origins of the duck, according to the Drools. Um, information on the Drools' culture, society, family life and traditions, notes on the infamous duck hunts of the lunar occupation of Sata, a gazetteer of Duck Vale and its surroundings, illustrated throughout with new artworks, especially commissioned for the series, Duck Book 2, Duck Adventurers, provides an in-depth guide to creating your duck adventure with a family origin in the home of Duck Vale. Contents are for a fully RuneQuest role-playing grant the compatible adventure, uh, adventure uh, creation process. Family history with duck-specific events, tailored causes of death, heirlooms and boons tables for duck adventurers, the duck hunts from a duck point's, duck's point of view, occupation descriptions and implications for duck adventurers, uh, considerations for playing a duck adventurer, uh, Red Father's uh, uh, safe a complete um, Darul's community and starting point for duck adventurers, deer field, NPCs and voices. Um, and essentially by voices we mean um, the opinions of um, individuals within the setting. Um, curious items and artifacts of the Darul's. Finally, fully generated, ready to go duck adventurers, you can you, you, so you can dive right in. Upland marshes, player maps, handout. Okay, so originally available just as PDS. This is available as uh, essentially um, basically four PDFs uh, for the complete series. The two books, first two books are kind of available also in print, I believe, but oh, and now available in a combined volume. So hopefully volumes three and four will do a, another combined volume like this, um, especially with this fantastic cover. Uh, and I have to say, Drew Baker and Neil Gibson sent this for me, um, you know, essentially uh, um, for gratis. I, and even said you don't have to review it, but of course I will. So thank you very much to them for that. It's very generous of them. And to go, it's quite a bit of a stiff hardback here, but it's fine. Um, contents page, well, basic copyright and knowledge and so on credits. There we have the contents page and more of the artwork. And this is not a but Legion's Games is also responsible for the uh, brew um, book Legion, uh, which is particularly unpleasant. So, um, every introduction from both authors, um, there and there, discussing you know their relationship and their thoughts on the idea of duck adventures. And um, we've got a full list of publication references and. The thing is with the content from the Johnstown Compendium is it, it falls under your grant that may vary. So it's not official, but it does draw upon previously official sources in this case. Uh, so can be so it's it's adjacent to what is um, canon, if you see what I mean. It's not exactly canon, but it's compatible with it. So and it does say your grant may vary. 
Um, and essentially, um, we have get into character generation for your ducks. Um, and a timeline of duck history um, and dragon pass. Uh, and uh, so, duck myths, culture, and society. You want to begin to delve into um, essentially the background, the origins, how they came to be. And this is from a duck point of view and how the Darul's got their name. Um, duck Shamans of Dragon Pass tells this story of how they got their name. And this is perfect in keeping with the Quest of Dorantha, where you have, you know, stories being told, myths being told, um, and, uh, you know, lamentations for the Darul's and, and how they came to be. A society. Okay, and where they reside in um, in relation to the major tribes of um, the uh, um, Sartar. So it's the upland marshes there. Um, um, we've got discussions of things like um, you know, city ducks, river ducks, um, ducks outside the Darul's tribal lands. Um, because ducks are sort of like just when ducks are born during the year because hey um they're a bit different um and uh like growing up as a duck um relations with, with certain relationships with the other nearby human cities and locations um at, uh, We've got suggestions of sort of like the, the, the cults that ducks can join um, and more. Which, um, what happens when you visit ducks, including this poor individual who's had his beak hacked away. Um, so stealing from his nest brothers had dire consequences, dire consequences for that poor duck. So the artwork in here is excellent. Um, duck anatomy, including some really um, yes, at, um, you know, um, anatomical parts. Um, we have a duck infantry. Oh, that's an infantry duck because they're not an infantryman. Um, psychology, hygiene, food production, you know, really delving into sort of like duck life. Uh, and it's absolutely fantastically brilliant. Um, Vitruvian duck. And then we get onto the subject of the duck hunts, which is when um, the lunars outlawed the ducks and um, put a san sanctioned all of the ducks, you know, hunt wanted to hunt them to death. Um, yeah, um, including this, this is, yeah, that's unpleasant. Um, um, it's good artwork, but it doesn't mean it's not pleasant. Um, uh, and um, lunar taxation of the Sutterite tribes, Red, Red Rose participated in the duck hunts. So, yeah, that's going to literally colour um, relations between the Darul's and certain tribes of um, the, the Sartar. Um, and then we have a gazetteer of the duck, uh, duck territory, uh, mostly upland marsh, descriptions of the various locations, and more gazetteer of the, na the nearest neighbours. I mean, they'll, they'll be expanded upon in other, um, other books. Um, so yeah, that, that's everything sort of like essentially background to ducks onto duck adventures, which is book two um, How to create a, a, a duck adventurer. Now it's essentially following the same kind of um, Format as in uh, Rinquist role-playing Glorantha. You are, you know, choosing a homeland um, at, uh, Creating a family history, deciding an occupation, building a character up step by step uh, rolling for family events including you know what happened during the duck hunts period um, because of course your character survived but members of your family didn't um, and here we have discussing of uh, further discussion of the terror also known as the duck hunts um, and then duck histories depending upon which which root family root your duck comes from uh, which you know essentially the Sartar branch um, Esrolia branch, um, but, uh, 
Prax branch. So you've got the, sort of the, the, the similar kind of origins as the standard player characters in uh, the RuneQuest role-playing in Dorantha Core Rulebook. Take a random luck. Uh, d duck boons. Um, heirlooms and uh, rune affinities and the like. And, uh, so on. And then we've got the various occupations themselves listed. Uh, very similar to those of um, uh, the RuneQuest core rules. But there are new additions. So yes, we've got assistant, a, a shaman, bandit, entertainer, farmer, fisher, and so on, as you would expect. But there's also Kafari, who's a diver, because ducks can swim, of course. Um, and notably, there are several missing occupations. Chariot driver, herder, philosopher, heavy infantry and cavalry do not figure in duck culture. And then we've got discussion of essentially um, selection of cults, which are more or less the same as the, uh, those in the core rule book, the, so you will need to refer to that um, and you know, just taking you step by step through the process. Um, and then we have the Red Feather, Shaman Speaks, and here we have the, one of those voices mentioned on the back cover. Essentially, here's, our, here's an in-game uh, point of view um, to give you know how the character kind of feels. And that's, that's quite de detailed. Um, so that's a couple of pages long. You've got an illustration of him um, up there as well. Uh, and the similar um, one for uh, the leader, the safe leader, i.e., um, you know, um, and, uh, and then other considerations for duck players. You've got a couple of voices then. Some of the concepts for ducks here, like the cowardly duck, um, honor versus cowardness, um, so on. Um, and then weapons that your ducks can use because of course they're smaller. Um, there we go. And a size table for your duck weapons. Um, the, the nice illustration there of Underwater duck combat. Um, magic underwater, um, artifacts and magical items. And then we've got a discussion of Red Feather Safe, which is a, the starting point for a campaign or set point of um, sanctuary for your ducks. Um, because it's not common, there are several scenarios set on in the Upland Marsh on the compendium, which you, know, you can take and uh, use and, so, and probably can put in combination with this book. So we've got an overview of Red Feather Safe. Um, personalities. Not all of them illustrated, but as I said, the artwork in here is excellent. In general, the sort of like the, the um, the black and white artwork is generally better, but that's, that's, that's no fine, essentially. There we've got an actual map of picture of, of, of Red Feather safe. Um, uh, and then we've got a rough guide to the Upland Marsh, home of Delecti the Necromancer. Um, it's one reason the, you know, the ducks hate, um, hate the undead because the, the, the marsh is infested with them. Um, and then we get into the pre-generated characters. Um, these are not really nice artwork and basically you can take these and start playing gaming with them and of course at the end advert for the full duck pack Book three, Red Feather, Dreamer, a solo quest. A book four, The Quack for Terror and other stories. And also other books available from the team. And on the compendium. So, yeah, that is um, Duck Pack, um, books one and two. Um, absolutely optional, of course, because you don't have to have ducks in your request game. But if you want ducks in your request, a great resource. Anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, please do click on the like button down below 
And if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings and look where you'll see me out here uh, with a package containing a book or game, um, which I will talk about to the best extent of my knowledge, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea, then please do hit the subscribe button down below. In the meantime, I want to thank the, 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 both uh, Drew and Neil for sending me a copy of the book. And you again for watching. I'll be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.